The last supplementary question will be asked by the Honorable Tring. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Honorable Minister, Deputy Minister, South Africa has some of the largest coal deposits of the world in the world. This can give us both a comparative as well as a competitive advantage from economies of scale over most of our counterparts. The ACDP has repeatedly said that beneficiation is one of the most underutilized policies of this government. As we export the bulk of our raw materials and import finished products, we cannot do the same with our coal as the European and Asian nations hypocritically buy our coal to supply their coal powered fire stations while simultaneously telling us to shut down our coal power stations. Does the minister or deputy minister agree that we cannot give away the beneficiation comparative and competitive advantages of using coal as a catalyst for industrialization and inform this house of the credible fact base and government policy uh, that was used to make the decision of a just transition initiative. Thank you. The Honourable Deputy Minister. Thank you very much, Honourable House Chair. That is a very new question because the original question was to say, what is it that you are doing as DTIC in making sure that when it comes to the issues of just transition, we do this assessment and the studies in making sure that when it comes to industrial development, what are the plans that we're having for the country? Yes, as I've said, we have the leading departments when it comes to the issues of coal, where to use, when to leave coal and so forth. But as the member is saying, yes, as DTIC, we'll always be putting our eye on that. We'll always be making sure that no jobs are lost when it comes to the issues of transition. Even when there are lost jobs, what is it that comes into play? How are we upskilling the people in making sure that they fit to the new way when we talk to the issues of just transition so we are saying sdtic it's one broad topic it's one broad journey that you are all in with within a country but as the government as a whole we're working together i've even mentioned that we even have we sit in the our in the imcs where the interministerial uh, committees where we look at all those possibilities and say how best can we take our country forward when we say just transition what is it that we can do so that we don't cripple the economy we don't cripple we don't even have much dent on the high levels of unemployment that we are having as a country so those are all the things that we are taking into consideration as we move towards this uh, just transition thank you very much house chair thank you honorable deputy minister